Triumph's husband, Jesus Christ, uh, apparently, allegedly, he's been abusing her. And it's people are focusing on the wrong side of the story here. I saw a bunch of people were like, wait a minute. Amaranth is married. I was like, of course, uh, yeah, yeah. C c okay, guys, uh, let me let me shatter the reality for a good portion of simp's. The girl on t on Twitch that's like, ooh, I, I I'm a, I'm just your average everyday girl, and sign up for my OnlyFans. Guess what? You think a girl that objectively attractive is not getting like some dude on the side or like has a serious relationship? If you honestly think that's not happening, then you're you're living in a sad reality. I'm just letting you know now, because uh, Jesus Christ, you really, really should be aware that attractive women like Amaranth are more than likely going to have boyfriends or significant others so, like why why did why does this have to be some big surprise and like i saw i saw keem had like a really really terrible take on it unfortunately the coward that keemstar is he deleted the tweet let me um let me pull up his response here let me see if that's good enough for the audience okay it's uh, you guys can see it. Okay. I deleted the whole Amaranth thread, too. Many people are making bad faith arguments, manipulating what I said, and straight lying. I also need to take some responsibility for not communicating my points better. I'm going to respond to all of this tomorrow live on the Keemstar Show. Which, by the way, guys, that is actually a really good podcast. You really should go check out the Keemstar channel if you somehow haven't already. I mean, come on. If you're only if you're somehow watching me and not the Keemstar Show, uh, I don't know what to say about you there. <laughs> but yeah, um. I found out about what happened th uh, through this thread right here, started by Guard Hunter. Uh, I believe he's a Jake Lucky associate. Uh, the joke is that he's uh, Jake Lucky's gay lover. You know, they they hate on black people together, you know, but together they're going to defend a white woman. Amar <laughs> oh, I'm going to get canceled for that someday. Amaranth has revealed that she ha sh that she has had an abusive husband. Along with revealing his abuse, he has threatened to kill her dogs, take all their money, and force her to stream. All right. Uh, so uh, let me scroll down a bit so that way you can see the full full thing. But yeah, let's uh, let's take a listen. Uh, the clip is about a minute thirty long. Let's see let's see what goes on here. Why did you say you were gonna kill my dogs? Leave the house. He doesn't even answer. Wait, he doesn't even answer that. What the heck? It's like, I did not say that. He just goes, leave the house. Leave. Um, all right, all right. Okay, I can leave the, I, you know what? Actually, I don't, I shouldn't leave the house because my dogs are here. We'll take the dogs and leave. You're asking the question, I'm telling you. Okay, and he says, take the dogs and leave, okay? And you're interrupting my fucking, uh, like telling you, literally. You just told me you were gonna kill dogs if I didn't do a 24 hour stream. You said you were gonna kill the dogs if I didn't do a 24 hour stream. <sighs> okay. So far, so far, it's like, wait a minute. Like, is this like a way to like brew up attention to the streaming channel? Like, what's up here? Oh, wait, wait. Was Amrath the one that got banned off Twitch? Is she, I think she's permanently banned off Twitch now, right? I think she streams on YouTube. No, wait, no, she still has sub goal. And if you uh, if you're able to see it, she still has like sub goal in that corner there. So I guess she got her Twitch back. Uh, but anyway, let's continue to listen. Nope, did not say that. Now you're just. Okay, okay, now he's saying that he didn't say that. He he went from avoiding it to now he's saying that I he he's saying that he didn't. Interesting, okay. Being a liar. I'm not I just said it. I said I'm going to tell you what I said in terms I'm going to tell you what I said. Okay. 
ones of the earlier. Are you saying you did not say that? I tried to tell you what I heard from you. And you said you called me a liar. Then you tell me what did you say? What are you even talking about? I don't like how there's a bunch of cuts here. What, like, what specifically are they cutting here? Is it dead air? I hope it's just dead air that they're cutting. Because if we're, I hope they're not, like, cutting out crucial context that we need. Uh, hopefully someone has, like, the original stream that this was, um, done on, saved. Because, like, I would like to see if there is anything cut here, specifically. Well, you brought up the dogs out of nowhere! Exactly. Wait, wait. She says you brought up the dogs out of nowhere, and his response is exactly so. He's confirming that he was the one who bring to bring up the dogs. Why? Why was he the one to do that? What? What point is he proving? The to, to prove a point. Wait, that that wait, I'm 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 okay. I'm confused here. Like, what? You're proving my point exactly, but wait, what? What's going on exactly? What like what? What point is she proving? Is it that she overreacts to stuff? I mean, if she if she thinks that you said that you were gonna kill her dogs, I think this is a somewhat um expected reaction. But, okay. I don't even understand what you're saying to me. I know. That's my point. My point is, are you listening or not? If you're not, then get the fuck out. I'm literally listening, but you're not making any sense. Well, no, no, you're not listening because it makes perfect sense. What? I'm going to say it one more time. If you don't get it, I need you to get the fuck out. What? Um... I What? I'm I'm he forced her to continue saying that she was single and commit to being a hot tub streamer. Uh, okay. The therapist even told him that it's a form of like psychological abuse and that I'm basically living the uh, Okay, so it, Wait, so is he acting like her pimp? Is this basically, he's acting like her pimp. If I'm getting this right, he's, he's the one who's forcing her to be like an OnlyFans model. Is that it? Does she, does she not want to do streaming period? Or is it just, she doesn't want to do the sexual streaming? I'm really wondering why. Like, it, it, cause it seems like so far he he he's trying to make her hit, hit oh god okay um uh, but we have 45 this is a 45 second clip we've only watched seven seconds of it let's see what else is here the fancy prison and then he was changed for a bit and then the hot tub meta arose and he was like oh this is an opportunity and then he turned into an asshole again so it seems Cause like, uh, I remember, I remember everyone, like, I think even I have said this before, like we, we all, everyone thought that Amaranth was a really good businesswoman that like, she really knew what she was doing in terms of j just like, um, she, she knew how to market her only fan. She knew how to do the, the, the streams, whether it was hot tubbing, the ASMR stuff. But now it seems like all those decisions were made by her husband and not her. I'm I'm curious if she ever really had a choice in streaming or if this was all manufactured by her husband, maybe. I, I'm 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 wondering that now. When I agreed to commit to the grind because it was a good financial opportunity for us. I've been Wanting to tell people that, well, let's just stream together. Just tell them that we're fucking married because it's. So, 
I think I th- and I think I saw a tweet from Augie earlier. I think the husband has his own channel. Yeah, yeah. I think the husband is his own content creator. I think he's smaller than Amaranth now. But yeah, like I like I'm really confused. If you're your own content creator, why are you forcing your significant other, whether it be boyfriend, girlfriend, wife, husband, why are you forcing them into this? Like you really, really should not be. It's like our relationship would be better if we just stream them instead of fighting all the time. So she suggests that they stream together and like he rejects it because he wants to keep up the persona that she's single and that guys would want to desire her more, I'm guessing. Uh, I mean... No, Mr. I don't, I don't say that because it's going to run the business model. It's not time yet. Fuck yourself. I'm done with it. I'm not going to fuck you anymore. You don't want you want me to tell them I'm single? It's about to be true, piece of shit. Dang, dang, okay. And then let's see, the th- third tweet down. He threatened to leave her with only a million dollars and to burn everything on crypto. The terrifying part is that he has control over all of the accounts. So that means he has control over her OnlyFans payments, um, any revenue she gets from from Twitch and YouTube as well. This is, Gene, this is, okay. Because he's a pimp and not a husband. True, Sherry, true. Yeah, I was actually, I was saying it earlier. He's an OnlyFans pimp. He, he, he is an honest-to-God OnlyFans pimp. Like, remember, I remember the reason why a lot of, like, former porn stars and uh, other, um, women content creators were creating only fans was because it gave them a level of independence but now it seemed like who else who else is like having their significant other or husband or whoever control stuff behind the scenes like who else is doing this i i'm really curious maybe this will later reveal Like, who else is being forced to do this kind of stuff? Like, is it all women claiming to be sexually liberated? Or is it just their husbands who are behind the scenes forcing them into this lifestyle? I'm going to leave you with one million and I'm going to take the rest because I worked harder than you. It's like... Wait, I worked harder than you? I mean, look... Let, let's say he did do the marketing for her, right? Listen, marketing does not mean crap. Marketing does not mean crap, especially, well, when it comes to OnlyFans girls, unless you're objectively attractive and, like, unless you're objectively attractive, like, <laughs> Your OnlyFans is not going to succeed. It doesn't matter how much marketing you did. Let's see. I did some research earlier and found his supposed Twitter account there, where there is some marriage drama. This is why I don't trust any man who supports their significant half doing this. It's a bad idea. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely like a, a weird... There's definitely a stigma behind men who support their wife or significant other doing some type of only fans because like the stigma is oh he's a he's like he like he's a uh, uh you know what this isn't gonna get demonetized this is this is this isn't gonna make money anyway might as well say it uh like they're like <laughs> like uh people think that they're cucks or you know some other weird stuff but yeah now i guess they're actual pimps now jesus christ but, okay, uh, but yeah, let's watch the rest of this clip. If you don't agree, then I'm gonna burn it all in court. I'm gonna put it all in fucking crypto. So, like, okay, so he purposely admits that he's gonna like waste all of their money just so that way she can't get it. I want. Did they sign an annulment of some kind or not? I'm guessing not. I mean, not annulment. Uh, prenup, prenup. That's it. That's what I'm thinking of. Prenup. Marketing is only like one fourth. Yeah, exactly. 
Like, <laughs> like that's even if he was the one marketing her, you know? Just always threats, always threats. All the fucking accounts are like two factor under his number and all. Oh, oh, it's all it's all under two factor under his stuff. All right. In interesting, interesting. All the, he has all the, like the login information of things, you know. It's like the keeps you there with the fear and the threats, and you fear that you're gonna do something to your animals, and then he's nice again. And all right, yeah. I mean, we have to take everything with a grain of salt, right? Because this is day one i mean this yeah this is day one of the accusations all right to to keep all of our ducks in order uh these are allegations at the end of the day um we're still waiting for his side to respond um if he has responded yet, i would love to see that but yeah like <laughs> i'm just saying it right now this does not look good for him so far Okay, and let's see here. Uh, Amaranth showed text messages from him calling her a dumb, uh, a dumb f, and supposedly throwing away money and her accounts as threats when she wasn't responding to him. Let's check. Like the next time when I say plan, do it, dumb fuck. Do you understand like what plan you're talking about? It's like fuck this, I'm calling you. So I disappeared from stream. Take the call. So I can't tell them I can't talk right now. We're getting Wi-Fi. I don't care. You get the call he, now. Jesus, Jesus. Last chance. I'm about to dump your luggage. Last chance. About to dump your luggage. You know, from the, the, my hotel room. But throwing your stupid merch off the balcony. Proceeding to ditch your stuff. You don't need the makeup or th or the the live view like the stream epic or the clothes, huh? Deleting social media in one minute, buying options that expire and blasting the cash. About to shut down the bank account, your bank account. Okay, yeah. So here, uh, two lag is terrible. Stream is garbage. It's like... <laughs> He's like a Chinese husband. Like, do better, wife. Do better. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely gonna get me canceled. Sweet Jesus. About to delete Twitter in 30 seconds if you don't call me. Your phone's literally off, right? I'm just like, it literally died. Gonna donate $250,000 to pull on He's like a. Wait, I, well, I will donate 500k in three minutes. Bird sanctuary he likes. In the next uh, okay. two minutes. Like the next. Do. Do what I want, or else I'll donate money to charity. Okay, okay, okay. Um, go off, King. I guess. Uh, is she? She is. She's safe now with her dogs. And is, is she safe now and in, in control of her account, or what's just happening? Needs to get in place involved and accounts locked out ASAP. Not sure what the process is for the latter. Uh, let's see. Oh, looks like we have a 20, 27 second clip. Uh, this is only just happening. The final moments of stream was a female voice checking on her and asking if she had taken her meds just before the stream cuts out abruptly. Hello? Hey. Uh. I mean... <laughs> He's de he's definitely psycho based off this. Probably, yeah. I haven't gotten any calls. What are you talking about? Why would you ask if I'm taking my Alright, yeah. Uh let's see, here's another clip. Yo, the people are dirty as hell. Literally, screenshot. His dad's been in the car. He makes me change his name. Sherry's literally my mom's name. But it's like, f fuck off. He's like, how the fuck long is that car ride? Stream lag so bad. This is oh, okay, this is but this is same thing. Um, Hunter was showing. To be to be honest, women pick guys like that because. 
uh, because they are dominant, confident, narcissistic, kind, because the guys in her chat would never do that. That's why they're giving her money. I think women should pick better. Now, in this situation, she's got to separate from a, um, a toxic partner ASAP. I think women need to pick better. Seriously, how how about men be better? Abusive narcissists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh boy, we gotta love the sexism arguments. Sexism, yay. Yay. Absolutely love that. But yeah. The, yeah, this whole situation is just I mean Jesus. Plain plain and simple. Sweet Jesus. Um I can't and I can't uh summarize this better enough than saying this guy from the evidence that we've seen so far is just insane. Uh let's see. Oh, uh let's see. Oh, uh Riveter has uh given me the full uh VOD from that stream we were talking about, guys. Cause like I said, I didn't like how how there were cuts there. Nerdy, check your DMs. I just sent you the time stamped of the full video. Thank you, thank you. All right, all right, here we go. Exactly. Because I'm gonna let you say what you think you heard. But then I'm gonna say what I thought I said. Jesus, this dude, like you guys are right. This dude's like a straight up psychopath over here. But you cannot interrupt mine because I'm not gonna interrupt you. What are you saying? What the fuck did you just say to me? You wanna say it again? Yes. Yeah. I told you. Then just pack up. What are you saying to me? Because I... Are you even listening? You just said something really fucking mean. Oh, yeah, I did. Because you didn't... You didn't did you even listen to what I said? Uh, I need... Uh, and by the way, after... After we're done listening to the full context of this, I need to quickly go through Augie's Twitter timeline because I swear he he tweeted out like um the guy's face and he tweeted out his um his YouTube channel or at least a YouTube channel he was featured on because it was a picture of him and Amaranth when Amaranth had really short hair. What was the condition? I don't remember. Exactly. See, I said the condition, the condition of their agreements that they have. What? I'm gonna let you say what you think you heard. Then you might want to warn viewers: this is pretty bad, and could cause some people, uh, some people issues if they have to be subjected to abuse in the past. Uh, a bit gay, but yeah. Um, you've been for abuse before. Um. One, why are you watching uh, a stream about abuse and slash a video about abuse? But if you somehow made it this far, uh, yeah, um, content warning. <laughs> and when you're done, I'm going to say what I said. I'm not going to interrupt you, and you're not going to interrupt me. You just... No, let's stop right there. No, no, stop, stop, stop. Jesus Christ. Like, I'm seriously wondering what caused this dude to freak out this much. I don't know for sure, but the way she's getting yelled at sounds like he might uh, might do something to her. Yeah, yeah. Why did you say you were going to kill dogs? You're, you're literally doing the thing that you did this morning, which is you're interrupting what I'm explaining to no, you. No, tell me. That's not acceptable. What do you mean, no? I'm telling you right now. You're interrupting me telling you! No, she didn't interrupt you there, buddy. You're... Oh, God, I hate... Uh, I think... Okay, I think this is a proper use for this term. He He's gaslighting her. He's like, no, you're, you're clearly interrupting me. You're interrupting me. I'm explaining everything, but you're interrupting me. Why did you say you were going to kill my dogs? Okay, I can leave the. I, you know what? Actually, I don't. I shouldn't leave the house because my dogs are here. We'll take the dogs and leave. 
Yeah, it's probably the best decision for her. Yeah, this dude, this dude is seriously unhinged. Explain it. <laughs> Just explain it, douchebag. Jesus. I don't even know what you're saying anymore. Bro, here's what happened. I'm gonna start from the beginning. He's acting like some like college douche boyfriend. He's not even like what is this dude? Like I, he's probably like in his late twenties, early thirties maybe. He's acting like some frat bro. Wait, wait, this is about their sex life? This is about their sex life? What? He's screaming at her about their sex life? This is the conversation that he needed to have with her? So, wait, wait, I need to, I need to really listen to that because I need to process that. So, so was he the one who mentioned threesomes? Was it her who mentioned threesomes? Who is the one who mentioned threesomes? He's acting like a high school psychopath boyfriend. True. I've dealt with someone like him. He went psycho on me and nearly got us both killed. People like him will frighten animals than you and only feel in control when you're terrified. Oh my lord. Yeah. See, see this right here, this right here, this right here is why I said that. You weren't even listening, which is my point. If you're not listening well enough, then you're literally... Now you see why. He oh yeah, and his voice is getting higher pitched when he does this like like I oh like like a screeching child Jesus Ugh. I just, I just said something terrible to prove my point. What? Oh, oh, sweet Jesus. Sweet Jesus. When something is very, very important to you, you literally don't hear anything else. That was the whole point. Good job, Einstein? Like, why are you threatening to kill your wife's dogs just to make her listen? What? And now that you're trying to play the victim, I'm pissed even more because you're now lying. You didn't even hear what I said. That's the point. I said it very clearly, but you didn't hear it. Why? Because something more terrible because something more terrible distracts you. So we 
he he's upset with her because when something bad happens, she's not paying attention to him. It, 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 am I gathering that right? Am I correct on that statement? <laughs> Jelly, my heart goes out to her because it seems like she was broken down regularly. I'm scared for her. Yeah, uh, so far I'm scared for her as well. Like, this dude's logic makes no sense. You're hearing what you say. No, I did. I did. I said on purpose. I said. Wait, let's, let's listen to that again, shall we? Hearing what you say. No, I did. I did. I said on purpose. I said it to show you how easily distracted you are. He, he's upset. If I'm hearing this correctly, he's upset because oftentimes something bad will happen and she gets distract distracted by said bad event. So in order to prove that happens, he threatened to kill her dogs and then said something else. What kind of drugs is this dude on? And like, this dude knows. He he has to know. That this is what doesn't this this doesn't make sense to me. Because this dude knows. Amaranth is This dude knows Amaranth is a big Twitch, YouTube, just, just all around general social media star. He knows more than likely that this is being live streamed or recorded or something along those lines. Yet he continues to have this public freakout. Like, did he? Does he think that this is going to look good for him in any way, shape, or form? This really. Uh, Jesus. Well, there, there, sweet Jesus, there we go. That's exactly what I said. Hmm. And I said that because I knew when I say that, instantly you don't remember to forget what you said and what I said. Both. Why do you have to say you're going to kill my dog? What does that help anything? Because, stop. Zoom out. Because you weren't understanding my point, which is this. When there's something that emotionally triggers you, you actually don't remember anything else. And oh, okay. And that's my whole point. You were emotionally triggered. You weren't actually listening to me. But then you try to come back and use that as a my fault for not saying it. But I did say it. You just don't remember. Here's the crazy part. I had already forgiven you for not remembering. Oh, oh, big man here. I've forgiven you. I've forgiven you. And you came at me and said, no, you didn't say it. You're being crazy. That's what you did. Listen, it's okay to be emotionally frail. It's okay. It would be even better if you just accepted and admitted it instead of being so defensive about it. But what is not okay is to be emotionally frail and then blame it on the person who's not. What? What are you even talking about? I you brought up the dogs out of nowhere! Exactly. Ah, uh, sweet Jesus. Okay. Alright. What? what point is there to prove me? See? You're just proving my point right now. What? I'm yeah. asking you yes. I don't even understand what you're saying to me. I know. Well, no, no, you're not listening. It makes perfect sense. 
No, it doesn't, dude. No, it does not make any sense whatsoever. Okay. Good job with your science experiment, I guess. Because in that moment, you were triggered. And I was saying things. I'm talking about the original. When you said I did not ask you a question. I'm talking about that time. You were emotion triggered. I get it. I was talking. You seem like you're listening. I'm not there in person. I don't really know. If I was there in person, I can always tell when you're not listening. But the point is this. I asked you a question. You didn't hear the question. Uh, did, did you want Augie's post with the picture? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Sherry, if you can send that through uh, DMs, I would greatly appreciate that. I, I would greatly appreciate that if you could send that. And that's why I said, no, 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 I did ask a question. And then you said, you're being crazy. You didn't ask a question. You said a state. That's what you said. And that's what got me mad. Why? It's one thing to say I didn't hear your question. That's fine. But you were essentially at that juncture saying I'm crazy and, and have voices in my head. I never sense. said those words. I you said... Look at, l listen to this man child scream. And, and have voices in my head. I never sense. said those words. I said. No, 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 no. Stop. 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 Bro, what's wrong with you? Let, let's get, let's get a picture of this douchebag up. Yeah, let's get a picture of this boy up. Let's see. Amaranth's marriage was never a secret. H how does anyone keep spamming the same lie? People used to meme the crap out of him for literal years. Exposing Amaranth's big secret. L of the day. All right. And then if we look here, there, there, there's her husband. There's her husband.